All right, have you just started with HubSpot and GDPR, or maybe you've been using HubSpot for a while, but just turned on GDPR, and now you're pulling out your hair because you can't immediately communicate with your contacts, meaning you get a little warning, and you're like, what the heck gives? Hey, you know what time it is. That's right, it's your boy George B. Thomas from georgebthomas.com, the hub ad helper, and today we're talking about GDPR functionality and being able to actually... Well, communicate with your contacts immediately. And there might be one little thing that you missed because maybe you didn't read all of the documentation or head over to HubSpot Academy and watch the videos on GDPR, which, by the way, links in the description below for any of those resources that you might need. But there's one little thing that you can do or should pay attention to in your forms, and it's kind of hidden if you don't know about it. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at how you can actually change one little thing depending on actually what you need it to do. And then you're off to the races with communicating with your prospects, leads, and well, customers. Let's take a look. So here we are in HubSpot and we are actually in the forms tool. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna grab one of these. So we'll go ahead and edit this form right here. And if we close up this frequently used properties, you're gonna see there's other form elements. What you can do is open this up and you're going to see GDPR options. And we even have a little pop-up here that will give you more contextual information. But if you come into your form and it's set to none, this is why you're running into the issue and getting that little warning. So now you have a couple things you can do. You can do consent checkbox for communications, form submit as consent to process. You can do consent checkbox for communication and processing, or you can do legitimate interest. It's totally up to you, but once you have that not on none and whatever you need to select, you're going to hit update and then you're going to publish your form. And like that, you're right as rain, able to communicate once people fill out a form. And also there's something else to pay attention to. And that is your automation will actually work because there's nothing more frustrating than if you've actually went in and set up automation for your forms when they're submitted, but you don't have legitimate interest or one of those other options and you get that error. So not only will you be able to communicate one-to-one, -one, your automations will work and everything will be right in the world. Hey, if you need help with HubSpot, make sure you head over to georgebthomas.com for consulting, training, workshops, whatnot. But more importantly, remember, as you use HubSpot, as you grow your business, remember to be a happy, helpful, humble human, and we'll see you in the next video. And heck, maybe it's this one right here.